Hello everyone, Justin here and today let's draw a simple knight helmet, a knight's helmet. So let's start with a curve at the front of his helmet. This is going to be his face guard and it's going to curve out this way to the side of his head. And let's bring this down a little bit away first, this way, forward, and then bring this back up close to the other line and right here will be the pivot so let's draw a curve and add a couple details right there and the center pivot area next we'll add a couple details here a line that goes parallel and then down and then another line that goes parallel to the lower line to meet that corner. Next, let's draw the shield for the eyes. So let's go up with a short line there and then over. And then this is going to curve out to about here. So let's make that line. And now we're going to follow this down to right there. And maybe curve it forward okay so right here would be the eyes so let's go ahead and put that in so the right here is an opening for the eyes and here let's go ahead and add some parallel lines basically going like this but we'll just kind of keep track of how far we need to go so the ends of these curved rectangles will parallel these up this upper and this lower line okay try to keep them more or less even doesn't have to be perfect and I'll just add one more right here and we're done with that next so we've got this head right here right so the back of the head would be over here so from here let's just go ahead and make a curved line going like this so the base of the skull or his head would be right about here so let's just go ahead and draw a curved line that goes all the way around to maybe right there and up here then let's draw a line straight up and then another line that's sort of parallel but then it starts to get closer to that first line that we drew Next, from here, we'll draw an, a line that's parallel and uh, meet with the eye shield. Let's add a couple rivets, like so. And maybe I'll add just a, some detail here. We'll just make this up as we go. And these are just short parallel lines curved at the end to meet together. Okay, and I'm going to add another curved line around that pivot. Next, let's draw the uh, continuation of the chin. So right here, we'll go down. And a short line going down. Okay, so from here we'll have the neck going down this way so from here let's just curve it downward and then kind of give them a little bit of a collar like so and let's just continue that line right there so now we've got the neck section going down and here we've got the part that's going down to the chest all right so let's add a curved line that goes across to go past this back of the neck and this part here will be kind of like a guard for the shoulder and go across we'll add some rivet like detail and for these rivets what we'll do is we'll just darken the lower right parts 
to make it look like they're three-dimensional like that and I'm just gonna go ahead and switch to my um, thicker sharpie to add some shadows like here on the bottom right actually let me go back to our holes here so when you're looking at this you're gonna be able to see the thickness of this armor so we'll be able to see the upper part and the front part here same thing with here we're only gonna be able to see the front and perhaps the lower depending on the angle so let's do that and now I'm gonna darken the depths of these holes with my sharpie all right so next let's go ahead and add a seam down the side of his neck here and more or less just a parallel line and maybe add some more small rivet type things here and we're gonna add some shadows so this face guard is gonna be sticking out a little bit and so it's gonna cast a little bit of a shadow here so let's do that and this will just make it look more three-dimensional and maybe add a little bit of shadow here right right along the left side and this will help to kind of show that it's kind of rounded and I'll do the same on this side and what I'll do is I'll add a second line and this kind of helps to make it look like it's a little bit shiny maybe all right so now what I'm doing here is I'm just gonna make the outer lines a little bit thicker and do a little bit of taper design just to keep it a little bit more interesting give it a nice outline everywhere and what I'll do is I'll use a thinner pen and I'm just gonna add some extra lines and this kind of just makes it look like it's like a shiny metal like it's shiny and shows some reflections and I'm just varying this a little bit kind of wavy lines And these are almost kind of like shadow lines too. But experiment. See what you like. Maybe a little oval there and there and here. And that just kind of helps to show that it's shiny again, like I was saying. If you look at a shiny car during the day, you'll see that it's reflecting objects that are in front of it and because the surface of the car isn't perfectly straight and flat what you'll see are basically curved lines wavy lines I should say so next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a feather like thing coming out of his uh, the, off the top of his head here and I'm just gonna make it look like it's hair and what I'm starting out with is like it's a little bit thicker it's kind of bunched up here at the top first and then comes out and then starts to widen out a bit 
and then it starts to narrow to the tip just like that and I'll go ahead and make this a little thicker give it a nice bold outline And I'll make the bottom part dark right here. And add some shadow here. And that should pretty much do it. So thanks a lot for watching. I hope you found this useful and uh, liked it so please like share and subscribe if you did and i will see you next time have a great day bye